Okay, this video is on independent and dependent events and also complementary events. So two events are said to be independent if one event has no influence on the other event. So an example might be drawing two cards with replacement. And we've seen some examples like this before. If you draw a card from a deck and then you put it back in the deck and then you draw a second card, that's called drawing two cards with replacement. Well, those two events, they don't have any influence on the other. In particular, the first card that you draw, that doesn't have any influence on the second card that you draw because you're putting the first card back in the deck. Another example of independent events would be getting tails on a coin flip and let's say rolling a five on a six-sided die. And hopefully it's not too hard to see how these two events would be independent. Uh, flipping a coin and rolling a die, those two events have no influence on the other. One doesn't impact the other event in any way. So two events are dependent if, well, if one event does influence the other event. For example, if we draw two cards from a standard deck of cards without replacement, so again, drawing two cards from a standard deck, if I draw the first card, but if I don't put that card back in the deck before I draw my second card, well now all of a sudden, having drawn that first card, that influences the second event because now all of a sudden I have fewer cards in the deck. That's an example of dependent events. Complementary events. So we say the complement of an event, say event A, the complement of event A is the event not A. The event not so, in other words, the complement of event A is the event of A not occurring. All right? The complement of event A is usually written like this, A prime or a complement, it's sometimes pronounced. And so an example of a complement of an event, if we're talking about flipping a coin, and let's say that event A is the coin shows heads. Well then, the complement the complement of event A, that is a prime or a complement, would be the coin shows tails. Example number five, if we are drawing a card from a standard deck of cards. If event A is the card is an ace, then event A prime would be, that is the complementary event or the complement, A prime would be the card is not an ace. All right, so it's kind of like the opposite of event A is the complement of event A. Now, the probability, when we talk about the probability of the complement of event A happening, then we'd write it like this, the probability of A prime, the probability of the complement of A. And there's actually a formula for this. The probability of the complement of A is just 1 minus the probability of event A. 
And it turns out that this formula is often very handy because sometimes if you're trying to calculate the probability of a particular, of a particular event, if it's the complement of another event, sometimes this event is difficult to calculate. The probability is difficult to calculate. But the probability of this is very easy to calculate. So let's take a look at an example here. Example number six. It says if you draw a card from a standard deck of cards, what is the probability of not drawing an ace? Now I'm going to do this uh, two different ways. And the first way I'm just going to say, well, what's the probability of not drawing an ace? And I can calculate this probability the way I've calculated my other probabilities. I can just say, well, What's the total number of possible outcomes that I have? And if I'm drawing from a standard deck, that's going to be 52. Of these 52 outcomes, how many of them would be not drawing an ace? Well, since I have four aces in the deck, not drawing an ace would mean I've got 52 minus 4, which is 48 cards. So I have 48 ways that I could not draw an ace. So my probability would be 48 over 52, or if I express that as a decimal, 0.923. Well, if I want to calculate this probability using this formula here, then I would do it like this. First I would say, let me define event A to be drawing an ace. And then I will define the complement of event A would be, let's say, drawing something other than an ace. So now since I have this formula here, I would like to calculate the probability of this event right here, drawing something other than an ace. And I can see that the probability of drawing something other than an ace, that's going to be 1 minus the probability of drawing an ace. Well, what is the probability of drawing an ace? Well, I know I have four aces in a deck, and I have a total of 52 cards in a deck, so I've got 52 possible outcomes. How many ways are there that I can draw an ace? There's four aces, so there's four ways to draw an ace. So the probability of drawing something other than an ace, that is the probability of my complement here, is 1 minus 4 over 52. And if I write this as a decimal, that would be 1 minus 4 over 52 is 0 0.077. And 1 minus 0 0.077 is 0 0.923, which matches what I got over here.